While Japan prepared to launch an X-ray observatory into space, you probably missed the deep learning drone that can follow a trail, the headphones that also jolt you into better performance, and the thing Einstein predicted about space is confirmed. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where our understanding of space has changed so much this week, it's like we knew nothing at all. Like we accidentally got into that zero gravity party plane with OK Go, or if Star Trek actors did not get tossed around in their faux spaceship at all. Researchers at the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory have made a monumental discovery that promises to revolutionize modern science. They've confirmed that gravitational waves, which are ripples in the fabric of space-time, actually exist. In this case, caused by the collision of two massive black holes. Einstein predicted their existence more than 100 years ago, but we've never been able to observe them directly until now does not begin to cover it, does it? This discovery will change how we see, understand, and interact with the universe around us. It could even potentially lead to Star Trek-style warp drives. If you are still struggling to wrap your head around that, maybe try one of these to understand it all a little better. This is a pair of Halo Neuroscience headphones, which also send mild electrical signals to your brain while you listen to music. So basically, we don't know what the hell the brain is doing after all. We have mocked similar products before on this show. But I'll just say it, we might have been wrong. Turns out the US team Olympic ski jumpers are testing the neuro sport and getting better results with their athletes. We are seeing an enhanced learning ability with the athletes and we're seeing enhanced power output. It's about $550 to pre-order one and if they could give these away to people so they remember to do the freaking laundry, that'd be great. Scientists from the University of Zurich used neural networks to train a drone to follow hiking paths in a robot competition because they could. The drone followed forest trails autonomously, and the idea is that it could be used to help with search and rescue missions. They taught it by first having a hiker wear three cameras and then use the photos to classify what being on a trail looks like. It's all cool, but don't pretend this tech won't be used to hunt down the enemy one day. And finally, having your body turn on you is just one of the perks of getting older, but this guy achieved boss level with his invention. A 31-year-old Indonesian man suffered a stroke six months ago, which left his left arm paralyzed. So he used scrap metal to make a bionic arm that keeps him in his job as a welder. And he's our first nomination for the Tony Stark Worthy Awards. All right, that's a made up thing, but it should totally exist. This episode was brought to you by Go90.